हेलो क्लास टेंथ फिजिक्स चैप्टर मैग्नेटिक इफेक्ट ऑफ करेंट टॉपिक इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन व्हाट इज इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन बिफोर दैट जस्ट वॉच दीज डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन मजा नहीं आ रहा है सो इन दीज डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन देर वॉज अ कॉइल विच इज नॉट कनेक्टेड टू एनी इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सोर्स बट स्टिल देर वॉज सम करेंट इन दिस and uh, that current lasts long till there is some external effect either uh, a magnet is being moved toward it or uh, away from it or there is current switching on and off in uh, a neighboring coil so in both the cases uh, in that coil which has no direct electricity source it was producing some current so this is what electromagnetic induction is so whenever magnetic field linked with a coil or solenoid changes there induces a current in it this phenomenon is called electromagnetic induction now what about this magnetic field so if you could observe that uh, in all the demos uh, i am moving a magnet toward a coil or moving away if i keep it stationary then nothing happens but if i keep on moving uh, that magnet then there is um, an induced current it is because if i am moving that magnet magnetic field linked with that coil or solenoid changes in the same way if i switch on and off current in a coil or solenoid then in the neighboring coil or solenoid which is not connected to any current source some deflection is observed so either use a magnet and move it toward or away from uh, a coil or solenoid then electricity will be produced or change uh, current in a coil or solenoid and keep another coil or solenoid uh, near to it so there will be current in that uh, coil or solenoid also which is not connected to any current source so whatever i have done in that demo i can pictureize it here uh let us suppose i have this bar magnet over here uh, its north pole is toward this solenoid and i am moving this uh, bar magnet toward this solenoid then there will be actually because magnetic field lines passing through this solenoid will increase see right now these are magnetic field lines coming out and when it comes closer so you can see these field lines are passing through the solenoid and it has gone up right now uh, maybe this field line was passing through the coil earlier and now when we have brought it toward the solenoid then more field lines are there so there will be a current 
right now i am not telling you exactly which way and how will uh, current flow um, that is a different story then but right now just imagine that uh, that current flows along this direction and it is showing some deflection now next there was that magnet and we are pulling it back again field line are decreasing actually they must be change whenever magnetic field linked with a coil or solenoid changes it 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 don't say that uh, uh, it, it doesn't say that uh, uh, it should always increase changes means it can decrease also so right now like this there were more field lines and when we have pulled it back number of field line passing through this solenoid get decreased so still it will produce current and that is electromagnetic induction because there is a change either you bring it closer or you move it away in both the cases field lines are changing so there is an induced current see as this time the phenomena is uh, the action is opposite to the previous one so direction of current also get reversed so keep this thing also in your mind that if we are bringing that magnet toward the solenoid the direction of induced current will be uh, you have to note that current uh, in which direction it is going but if you are reversing that effect that you are withdrawing magnet from the solenoid then the deflection will be opposite to that of previous one and if i am bringing south pole so we know that these are field line for north pole uh, we assume them to coming out from the north pole and they ends at south pole structure will be same only the direction will be changed because now direction has changed so whatever happened when we brought north pole towards the reverse effect will happen when we brought south pole here so opposite to this this will happen and if we withdraw this oh sorry i have to make it dotted and this one is solid and now when we withdraw this move it away then deflection will be reversed oh god oh god oh god uh this should be like this oh excuse me students my minus one mark for this error now uh, north pole brought toward current was this way south pole brought toward current will be in opposite way this one ignore this here it will go this way and now when we withdraw that so opposite to this current will flow flow like this so uh, right now what i have uh, if uh, in the exam they give us uh, one of the condition we can't predict right now we can't predict that which way current will flow but if they give one of the condition you have to keep in your mind that uh, which way uh, the other event uh, are going to happen that if in the exam it is given that north pole is brought toward the solenoid then current direction of current was so and so then if we withdraw north pole then current will be direction of induced current will be reversed so also keeping this thing in mind if we change the pole then also reverse thing happens and if we reverses the action withdrawing it will be opposite to this so you have to just keep in your mind what thing is happening two way that opposite thing can be happen like uh, changing the pole or changing the action changing the pole bringing north pole bringing south pole changing the action bringing uh, north uh, bringing magnet withdrawing magnet okay so now uh, there are two coils one which is connected to direct uh, current source and other which has no current source just a closed circuit connected with a galvanometer when we just switched it on then there develops a magnetic field which increases from zero to its maximum value so earlier there was also a zero magnetic field in this solenoid 
but when we have just switched it on so magnetic field line start crossing through this solenoid also and as magnetic field linked with the solenoid changes so also there induces some current let us suppose this is the direction of that induced current see these direction i am drawing randomly there is there are certain rules for that but uh, what i am doing i am doing it randomly because uh, um, explanation to this is more complicated and not directly covered in our syllabus there are uh, there is a rule for determining the direction of induced current but that is in a different sense so that is why just um, it is just uh, a, a schematic diagram only next when it is just switched off still because before that there were there were some field line passing through this solenoid and they are going off they are going to zero still there is a change in magnetic field so also there will be a deflection earlier i haven't shown a deflection there oh so there is a deflection and right now because opposite thing has happened so deflection will be in opposite direction okay but if it is on for long time then although there will be current flowing through this circuit but no actually see these are field line passing through it but they are not changing so there is no uh, deflection in or no electromagnetic induction is taking place because no change is there and if it is off for longer time then there is no field there is no field so no deflection in both the cases no deflection in the same way if i held this magnet stationary in front of this solenoid so no matter how powerful is the magnet how good is the coil still there will be no induced current whatsoever so here we have a rule fleming's right hand rule earlier i told you about fleming left hand rule that was if a current um, carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field then it experiences a force uh, for quick recap so here it is if index finger is showing magnetic field b middle finger showing the direction of current current in that current carrying conductor then thumb will show the direction of force acting on that conductor and now fleming's right hand rule so fleming's right hand rule says it gives us the direction of induced current and there is a condition applied direction of induced current when a conductor is moving i mean not carrying current just a conductor a conducting wire is uh, moving in a magnetic field so this time this thumb shows the direction of force acting on that conductor that is why it is moving uh, actually it sometimes it is called motion of conductor also and uh, index finger is showing direction of magnetic field then middle finger shows the direction of induced current it is not just a current induced current so if thumb index finger and middle finger of right hand are mutually perpendicular to each other like this and if thumb shows the direction of motion of conductor ya wire simply or force acting on that conductor or wire index finger shows the direction of magnetic field then middle finger will show the direction of induced current and by the way i just uh, it was skipped from my mind these uh, all of these experiments are faraday's experiments and uh, um, these observations uh, whatsoever taken by faraday uh, uh, later on you will come to know about actually not again in this syllabus but uh, in higher studies uh, there are certain laws for it we call them faraday's law and many electrical devices like uh, electric generator transformer etc are based upon uh, these observation these experimentation so these experiments are actually faraday's experiments so in next video we are going to cover that uh, electric generator which is also called dynamo and it is totally based upon this uh, electromagnetic induction fact and um, the direct uh, the direction of current uh, uh, we will assign by using fleming right hand rule uh, in that dynamo and all that 
and uh, so that will be the